and I remember you had said those those three guys there, um, uh, Greg and uh, Bennett and, and Ashton. There was a chance that they might be done. Was there any positive news over the last couple of days uh, with, with them maybe not landing on that? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm just kind of waiting to see if if any of these guys get put on IR. Adam, um, how what's the men situation? Um, yeah, he's just he's dealing with. Uh, you know, a uh, personal issue. So that's as far as I can really talk about that right now. Is it anything that could affect Sunday? Yeah. Adam, how um, how serious is Frank's concussion? Uh, you know, how bad is it? Well, he's he's limited today, so that's that's a good first step. So whatever, you know, all those steps that he had to go through, he's he's going through it. So today he's. He's allowed to participate in practice, which is, which is a plus. Adam, with, with Frank being limited and the other two guys doing well last week, how would you, how would you work that? Well, we'll see how this week's goes first. I mean, I've, look, look, once we get to the once we get to the game, like every day that goes by and we, and we feel more confident, all right, Hey, we'll have three guys. We'll have two guys, whatever that ends up being. Um, we'll have a plan ready to go and, and figure figure that out. I anticipate all three guys playing. Can you uh, can you speak to what what the two young guys did do on Sunday and what you saw out of those guys and and maybe how that bodes for Sunday and for the future? Yeah, I think uh, the old line did a hell of a job of getting guys covered up. I think uh, the way our run game was set up, I thought it was really. I mean, they had some legit big holes to run through. Um, they did a good job of hitting them. They did a good job of protecting the football. Um, you know, it was good to see those guys step in there and get the amount of carries that they did and and do as well as they did. I think it was, you know, Josh is pulling double duty because he was trying to still help on special teams because we, we've we lost, you know, losing to Ashton and, and losing Josh or uh, Ben and Jackson. Um, it was hard for us to get those guys completely off of all the special team stuff. Um, so, I mean – they battled and they, they basically did everything that they could possibly do to help us. Adam, changing coordinators, uh, changing coordinators at midstream. Uh, like how does that just talk about the logistics of that and how does that impact you? Will you now have some sort of role on defense to help Frank along a little bit? Yeah. I mean, with, you know, Frank has been in this league for a long time. He's done this job before. Um, that side of the ball, they're really well organized as far as who does what. And, you know, they they had to make a couple adjustments as far as, you know, job duties and things like that. But, you know, I'm going to do whatever they need me to do to help them. You know, we talked about that, you know, early on in the week. You know, there's a couple things that, you know, we just talked about possibly doing, you know, and, and playing certain guys and making sure that we, we have certain guys – you know, playing in certain spots and, you know, that's about the extent of that right now. I mean, whatever I can do to help that side of the ball, I'm going to do. Adam, you guys talk and people around the NFL talk all the time about a 24 hour rule after a game and, you know, moving past the loss, but how, how difficult is it with a loss like Sunday to turn the page and, and move on to the next week? Yeah. I mean, I, my start of my whole career, I heard that for seven straight years was you had 24 hours to get over it. Um, I think the only time I've ever been involved in a loss like this was to end a playoff game. So I could be pissed as long as I wanted to and nobody would care. Um, it's tough. It's tough. I, I think uh, our players will, will do a good job and they'll respond the right way they have through this whole thing. Um, you know, as coaches, we got to do the same thing. I think once, you know, like I said, doing the virtual meetings is that's probably the one part that really is annoying because you really want like our guys help the coaches pull you out of the the funk because these guys come in here with the energy they need to come in here with and are ready to go. And, you know, that that helps more than anything. Were you in a funk after that loss? Yeah, I was pissed. I felt like our guys played well enough to win. 
What have what you, your uh, conversations been like with Lamar for one uh, since that day? Yeah, I haven't had a chance. I'll see him here when they get in the building. You know, we. I didn't. I didn't have have meetings with those guys on Mondays and Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday this week. I just felt like it was best after what happened at the end of the game. To, I mean, I talked to a few guys. I, I'm confident Lamar will bounce back. He's a strong kid. That's all he's done all year. He's a fighter. He didn't get to this place and end up starting on on this team because he wasn't mentally tough. Just real quick, I I know you can't um, go into specifics out of it. Just real quick, going going back to the Mims thing, you said there's there's a chance he's out on Sunday. Like yeah, a- there is, there is. Adam, did he have to? Is he in a situation where he's not in the COVID protocol right now? That's possible. Do you um, do you anticipate having bless? Back. I think he's eligible to come back from IR. Yeah, I mean, we got a we got a chance there. Hey, man, let's go. We got a chance to to see how they how they look at practice. I'm sorry, Adam. Can you just clarify my Zoom uh, cut out briefly when you answered Brian's question about Mims, uh, or maybe it was Connor's question about whether he's in? Uh, is he in COVID or what? I I lost that. No, I was saying that he. He's possibly going to be out of the pro the protocol here. We'll see how today goes, but there's a possibility that that could that could throw him out of the game. So he's in the protocol now. Oh yeah, I'm, but by the end of the day, he could not be. <laughs>